So yeah, now what kind of info do you have? Um, you're the first okay. person that kind of reached out since I put out the information on the podcast. I didn't know that anybody knew about the rumor about the stuff being put into a drink. And I have, yeah, I have like damning information about that. So the day of her death, the house that she was at, that is Dixie's house. That's the woman that's 60 or 70 years old that owns the house. But Amy was really good friends with Ramiro. And I feel like that's the only reason why Amy would be at that house. That night, Ramiro had came to my house and he was knocking at my door. And he said, will you call, um, Jeremy Scott's nickname is Casper. Knocks at my door and he goes, will you call um, Casper and whatever he gave this person, they're not waking up. He did not tell me that it was Amy or what was given to Amy, just that whatever Jeremy had given her, they're not waking up. Will you please call them? And I'm like, what? I, I was confused, you know what I mean? I took it with a grain of salt. I just was like, whatever, you know? So I shut the door. And then maybe an hour and a half later or so, he comes back to my house. He's knocking at my front door, my back door. He's throwing stuff at my window. He's frantically trying to get me to open the door. Um, I finally do after maybe like five, ten minutes. And he comes in and he goes, Amy's dead. And I, my, I was in denial. I was like, what? I, I didn't want to believe it. I didn't believe it for about two days after hearing that. And so, and I just knew that when he came to my door the first time, he knew that, he knew that Amy was dead. <laughs> What happened to Amy Betcher? This week on Patreon.